Hi everyone, today I'm going to demonstrate on how to draw lavender paintings. Let's begin by drawing the stems. Here's where you decide how you want your lavenders to go. So if you want some to curve down or some to be taller, this is the time to go ahead and draw that. Once you have that, I want you to start with a very light, light, light purple or lavender color. If you can make a lavender color, that'd be great. I like to get a little pink into my purple and I like to water it down quite a bit so it's almost transparent looking. And then I go ahead and apply it. Now, as you go higher to the tip, you want to get less. As you go lower, it's going to become thicker. So keep that in mind as you start to paint your lavender. Don't worry about whether it's too light or not. You want to start with the lightest color as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up my lavenders and go ahead and add that light color of purple or lavender color, whichever you choose, to all my stems. Now, I want some of my stems to be a little taller and some of my stems to go down a little bit lower. Again, this is really up to the artist and you're the artist, so you could decide how you want it to go. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and darken my lavender slightly so that I get a different tone. So this is the way we're going to make that contrast between the light and the dark. And I'm going to do this several times. So go ahead and start adding randomly a little bit of a darker purple or a darker lavender to your lavenders in random order. You don't want to fill up the whole thing because you do want to leave some of the light behind it. All right, so now that I finished putting on the the first, the second coat actually of the purple that's a little bit darker than the first coat. I'm going to wait for it to dry. So in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and add some stems to my lavender. So I'm going to use a thinner brush for this, and I'm going to go ahead and just bring down the the stems and place them as I wanted to. Now, don't worry about if they're not following your line exactly because once you're done painting and the painting is dry, you could actually erase the pencil marks.
Now I'm going to begin adding the leaves. So I'm going to take a little bit of a thicker brush, not too much thicker. And how I do this is I take the green that I'm going to use and I touch the stem and I bring it out slightly and then I flatten my brush and move it and then, um, and then bring it up again so it thins out again. And this is how I make the leaves. Now the leaves on those lavenders are not like your typical flower leaves. They're actually long and thin. And of course, you're gonna have some shorter ones that are just new growth. So you wanna add some different sizes and they do grow all over the stem. So add as many as you can. And don't worry if they overlap, that how, that's how they would look in nature. Now that my lavenders are completely dry, I'm gonna go ahead and add another darker uh, layer of purple on this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make this a little bit slightly darker than the second coat I did. So I'm gonna layer up, and again, random strokes of you know paintbrushes onto the lavender. Just add them randomly, try to leave some of the colors underneath so that it shows through. So that's where you're gonna get the contrast and make it more natural looking. Now I'm gonna add the final touches. I'm gonna to begin by taking a thin paintbrush with a tiny tip, and I'm going to go ahead and dab little tiny dots on the top of my lavender so that I could emphasize the tip of the lavender. Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna take the green and I'm gonna add some little tiny dots uh, next to those and above it as well to show the new growth that's coming into the lavender. Here are some other lavender paintings I've done so you can see them as an example. If you like this video, please give it a like down below and subscribe to see more video demonstrations by Art Connection.